this is Praxis, and uh, there's a lot going on on site today. Amber is outside sealing some boards over there. My dad is up uh, working on just getting some plastic up on the, uh, the kind of the shoulders of the greenhouse. We're not going to uh, finish up. Actually, no, we decided we're actually putting Denver trim on. We're going to put some of the metal trim on kind of in a temporary fashion just to keep the snow uh, from you know, getting into the walls. Uh, and then in the spring, we're going to pretty it up and do the final version of that. But for me, what I've been doing today is uh, doing... Uh, moving of materials. Uh, uh, we're going to go inside in just a moment and see what that looks like on the inside there. But uh, this whole area, I got everything out in here. These are all the interior wall boards stacked up. I've got these little ties to make the, the pile a little bit safer. In the back, there's two by tens and two by threes. Two by threes are going to be used for the pantry. Two by tens, they're just extra. I'm not sure we're using those for yet. Uh, but that's really what I've been doing a lot of today is just kind of moving stuff around, getting stuff ready. Uh, the other greenhouse I had to get all clear because while Amber's sealing boards outside, uh, it's kind of starting to rain and drizzle and snow and stuff, so she can't dry boards outside. She's moving those into the other greenhouse and I had to get that area clear. Let's hop on in here, but beforehand I want to mention uh, the uh, radon vent is in. It's operating. It's been going since yesterday and the results so far are looking pretty good. Uh, the numbers that we are getting off of it, and these are just pre uh, preliminary, uh, you know, we're going to get more solid, more reliable numbers over time, but the numbers that I'm getting at the moment are somewhere between one and a half and two and a half. 2.7 is what's considered uh, safe by the World Health Organization. So, uh, you know, I think we're in the, in the right ballpark. I think that my fix is working and it makes me pretty happy. Uh, one thing I am going to be doing is uh, eventually putting a timer on that thing and maybe have it go kind of intermittently. Maybe it goes like for a half an hour it vents and then for a half hour it doesn't and then for a half hour it does. It, we could use half as much electricity that way and I'm going to keep using the meter to figure out exactly you know how much can I turn the thing down without there being a negative impact in here. And look in here, this is the first time this place has been really open for ever, it would seem. This is where the dining room table is going to be. This is, where, you know, that's why the lights open over here. But we got everything out of here. It's all out over there. And the place is really starting to uh, come together. All the electrical work is all done in the inside of the house. The only thing that's left are a couple of exterior lights on the outsides of the house. Uh, you know, I'm not putting those up right now just because I want to get outside stuff done. And what I'm doing with Amber, when I'm not shooting videos with you guys, and what I'm going to do in a moment is I'm cutting boards and getting them up onto this front face of the house and uh, just going across there. So that's where things are now. Uh, we are uh, still not hearing back from the plumbers. I've got four phone calls and emails and things in with them. Uh, they're still blowing us off. And the electrician, they were supposed to come last week. I never heard from them. I'm not going to complain about the electrician though. They've treated me really great and I anticipate they're going to show up at some point. And the only thing left for them to do uh, is just uh, ground us out on those grounding spikes. And uh, you know, if me and my dad can finish the smoke detectors, uh, uh, they won't do those, and if we haven't finished the smoke detectors, the electrician will help me with that. So that's where things are right now, but I gotta get back out and help Amber. Uh, well, not help Amber, but uh, you know, be there with Amber and suffer out there with her because it's, it's kind of cold outside, but it's nice being in here. My, my fingers aren't numb anymore. That's it. Thanks for watching.